kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I will be teaching you on how to use or how to create a custom video player app using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So this is the part one of my video series, and in this video, I will show you the f the demo first of all on how the app will look like and how what will be the functionality of the app, and I will also try to enhance the features in uh, this video player app. Alright. So first of all, without wasting any time, let's show me. Uh, let's uh, let me show you the demo first so here uh, you uh, can see that we have this project and in here you are able to see all the videos stored in our uh, phone directory okay so before that you will be requiring the user permission for uh, accessing the external storage so here you can see inside our um, android manifest file we have two uh, permissions read external storage and write external storage all right so basically what we will do is on the first screen you will be able to see all the videos with their the thumbnails and if you click on any video so that video will be played so let me play a video first so here we will try to play the video and here you are able to see and if we click on pause so the video will be paused and here you are also able to see the seek bar all right So that is that. Uh, so guys, let's get started to our project. So first of all, we will create a new project, and I will make sure that you understand all the concepts used in this video player app. Alright, we will be using the circular view with view holder to display all the videos inside our activity so first of all let me assign okay and let's try to name the project as custom video player all right so now click on next and now click on finish alright guys so now the project is open but uh, there you can see I have an error so this is my Android Studio problem so I will try to update my Gradle and Android Studio version so what I do to remove the error is I just remove the line of app compact library and then I just click on dependencies and I add the library again from here and I click on OK alright guys so in my next video we will start working on this video player app if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye